NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Good morning <laughs> or afternoon. Yeah, it says the morning show, and I know it. And, um, I did that kind of on purpose as we get back into the regular schedule. Now, wow, that's uh, really amazing. And uh, I decided that you needed a little NCTV 45 in the afternoon. And um, why? That's what we did. Now, stuff. First of all, um, 26 degrees, and you know, I really have to get. Did you ever get your glasses scratched? And then you're looking like, what's the temperature? What's the temperature? Or trying to read something, and there's always something in the middle of it. That's what's happening right here. If I, uh, you know, 28 degrees. And we got a little sunshine. So, uh, that's something now. <laughs> and um, I know that you got to be wondering, wonder, wonder what the groundhog did and um, if you haven't seen it, we have it. But the time has come. Old man winter, send in the top hats. Well, Old Man Winter said in the top hats, and the bottom line is that groundhog, that son of a gun, saw his shadow. And uh, I don't know how you feel about that, but I can tell you something. I've already looked at the um, future forecast. It's going to be cold and uh, real cold so um, looks like Punxsutawney Phil was uh, more than right and this is what they wrote from Punxsutawney this morning Pennsylvania's own famous groundhog Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow predicting six more weeks of winter for the first ever virtual Groundhog Celebration. Ah, Groundhog. <laughs> so uh, that happened. Uh, now, in a note that I know you're probably wondering about, a lot of people are... Um, Hurting a little bit with the PU something, PUA, uh, different in unemployment insurances for special programs. That PUA still isn't up. So, uh, 
just so you know, you know, that's uh, an unfortunate, unfortunate incident. Now, um, this day in history, February 2nd, 1887, Groundhog's Day featuring a rodent meteorologist was celebrated for the first time on Gobbler's Knob in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. According to tradition, if the groundhog comes out of his hole on this day and sees its shadow, it gets scared and runs back into the burrow and you have six more weeks of winter. If no shadow is seen, it means an early spring. Groundhog Day roots itself in the ancient Christian tradition of Candlemas, when clergies would bless and distribute candles needed for winter. The candles represented how long and cold the winter would be. Germans expanded the concept by selecting an animal, hedgehog, as a means of predicting the weather. Uh, once they come to America, German settlers in Pennsylvania continued the tradition, although they switched from hedgehogs to groundhogs, which were plentiful in the Keystone State. So uh, there, uh, a little more on Groundhog's Day than maybe you knew. And um, we're going to get to those holidays but um you know february 2nd what holiday is it well i know you want to know but i i got them right here so uh but i first want to tell you that we're going to have high school basketball on tonight and uh, please enjoy last night we had the girls on my, my computer must have been real cold because it kind of froze up. And uh, <laughs> now I see that the button wasn't pressed. So that got you all set. The groundhog saw his shadow and six more weeks of winter. It came from the Germans. I'm paraphrasing now after you missed that. And I apologize. came from the Germans. Uh, who came, they used to use a hedgehog, and I'm going to tell you about Candle Must Day when we get back from sports, and this is going to be quick, it's the Cedar Sports Corner, we got a lot to do, so hang in there. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner. Let's get to college basketball. West Virginia, number 11, will be at Iowa State. Penn State will be taking on number 14, Wisconsin. And uh, that on ESPN Plus and Fox Sports 1, respectively. The Dukes of Duquesne at home against Dayton. That at 9 o'clock on ESPNU. Now uh, elsewhere you have Akron at Toledo, Miami of Ohio at Kent State, and your late game 9 o'clock USC takes on Stanford. Now over in the NHL and uh, a little cold out so hockey is the is the game of choice. Your Tuesday, the New Jersey Devils visit the Pittsburgh Penguins. That on ESPN Plus. And your late game, Ottawa will be at Edmonton. Over in the NBA, it's like this. 
the LA Clippers at Brooklyn, 7.30 TNT. And the Boston Celtics, they go out west to take on Golden State, 10 o'clock on TNT. So that was the Cedar Sports Corner. And um, go to Cedars, get some great food, cold beverage, and enjoy the games. We'll be right back after this. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Yes, it's Tony's Lounge, complete with a great bar, pool, yes, jukebox, and a great seating area that is unbelievable. It'll make you hungry and a wide selection to choose from, including wings. Yes, specials too. Don't monkey around, get to Tony's Lounge. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, angeladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. We're back, and um, outside, it's a chilly 28 degrees, and um, we were talking about Groundhog's Day, and the holidays, we're only the second uh, second day into the month, and uh, as we got back out of uh, what was a lockdown, let's get caught up on the morning show, which is coming in the afternoon. February 1st, National Dark, Dark Chocolate Day. It was also National Freedom Day and National Get Caught Up Day, which I did. I got caught up. That put us in the Groundhog's Day. And Groundhog's Day, here's what you should know about it. It <laughs> originated from Germans. Okay. The folks that came over here from Germany would, well, let's step back a second. Candlemas Day was how they knew if the uh, winter was going to end quickly. And um, so they developed these uh, or spoke of candles that these uh, Christian would give out the priests or whatever at that time and if the candles were long 
then you had six more weeks of winter. This Groundhog's Day first took place February 2nd, 1887, and according to tradition, if the groundhog comes out and sees his shadow, then uh, you get six more weeks of winter. If it gets scared, it runs back in the burrow. Now, if no shadow, that means an early spring. It's rooted in ancient Christian tradition of Candlemas, where clergies would bless and distribute candles needed for winter. The candles were how long the uh, cold the winter would be. Germans uh, expanded the concept by selecting an animal, a hedgehog. And then when they came to America, groundhogs were plentiful. They chose the groundhog. Also, a groundhog is called a woodchuck. And uh, if you've ever wondered how much wood could a woodchuck chuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> so Candlemas Day is today, Groundhog Day, National Hedgehog Day, which fits, National Tater Tot Day, and also National and UKU. Ukulele Day. <laughs> so uh, play your ukulele and serenade a groundhog. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Now, um, with that, let me tell you, um, and I'm not I'm concerned about a lot of people that are laid off or not getting any money now when they're out of work. For the PEUC and the PUA, that site's still down. Thus, New Hope Wesleyan Church, 2300 Pulaski Road, they're having Saturday, February 6th, Veterans First from 9 to 10. It's open to the public after 10 food distribution and uh, don't be too proud if you, if you need something to eat that's uh, a good thing that you could go there and get it now this I was very happy with I, I you know we talked about this the Shenango River named River of the Year now, the Shenango runs from Mercer County down here. So we have part of the river of the year right here. And uh, congratulations, 82 miles of scenic, peaceful. The Shenango River has been voted the 2021 River of the Year. And, you know, we needed to win something. Now, uh, with that, weather. Oh, uh, don't let it fool you. 28 now. They say we're supposed to get up to 30. We'll see. And that's going to be tricky because, and, and I'm kind of telling you a little bit ahead of time. We're in for a cold weekend. 58% humidity out there. Winds from the north northwest at 13, gust into 18, and the visibility 10 miles, wind chill 17. Now, with that, let's get and go to NC TV 45 weather and um, see what the rest of your day and tomorrow is going to hold. Take a step back into time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Mill Street. We'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's 
Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. Run it again at Wendy's lunch. Run it again with hot dogs, fries, burgers, and much more. For the point, two-point conversion, try those daily specials. Run right in and you will need a the guard to score and win this lunch. Before the game, just right for lunch or any time. It's Lindy's Lunch. 2402 Wilmington Road, Newcastle. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. BSP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSP has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSP. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Hello and welcome once again to, as I wear my mask, Lawrence County 45 weather and it's 24 last night with a little scattered snow flurry but that beginning to turn off and here is the mess that existed. And it is moving off the coast, there are clear skies behind it. So let's get to Lawrence County 45 weather. Last night, cloudy, low of 24. Your Tuesday, happy Groundhog's Day to you. Hopefully, we get spring soon. <laughs> Mostly cloudy, 30 degrees. And uh, as you get to Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, a low around 21. Now your Wednesday, partly sunny and 31. Feel good to see that sunshine. And Wednesday night, partly cloudy, a low of 13. Now as you cruise in to your Thursday, partly sunny and 37, going to feel rather balmy on Thursday and uh, Thursday night snow I know 80 percent chance low around 30 and that means Friday's next and your Friday rain and snow showers mostly cloudy 38 that chance of precip is 30 percent now Friday night Chance of snow, mostly cloudy, and a low around 22, 30% chance of the white stuff. Saturday, 32, partly sunny. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 16. Cut alert in effect this week, the whole entire week. And uh, your Sunday, mostly cloudy, and 24. So, um, cut all alert in effect, and uh, the snow, hopefully it turns off. Hopefully, that groundhog gets and does what he's supposed to to get spring here. And uh, this was Lawrence County 45 weather. We're going to take this break, and we'll be right back after this.
Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. There's more than me. Well, we're back, and that's going to do it for this edition of the morning show coming at you in the afternoon. And um, this just in, and I thought you'd like this, the 2021 Pennsylvania basketball rankings are in. And uh, Newcastle, 10-0, and 0, tied with Washington, who is... Three and one. And number two, Holy Ghost Prep, Chartiers Valley, Wilson, uh, Our Lady of Sacred Heart, and it goes on. Now, I'm anxious to find out where this Washington is um, located. Washington Varsity Basketball Team, home conference game versus Charleroi. I, now, I, I find it hard to believe that they put Newcastle and Washington in the same conference. But, um, heck, you never know. Now, watch the Canes tonight as they take on West A. And uh, you can watch it right here on NCTV 45. So, uh, now... It is time for me to tell you. I want you to tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. And when they say, I don't watch a lot of TV, why well, you tell them that NCTV 45 is available anytime on your time. Yes, a train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45 right here in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Now, um, with that being said, it's about time you get that second cup of coffee, perhaps an iced tea, and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Now, uh, make sure you watch the game. And uh, bundle up. It'll be a cold weekend. Take it easy, and we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>